Holly Willoughby has shared a message with fans of her well-being business. The presenter, 42, sent out her first Wild Moon newsletter since reports first emerged suggesting the mum of three has cut ties with her this morning co-host Philip Schofield. Phil and Holly seemingly put on a united front as they returned to host the ITV program earlier today, after a weekend of speculation hinting one, if not both, would be absent from our screens this morning. The TV duo failed to acknowledge rumors about the state of their friendship during the broadcast and instead joked with each other throughout the show, including when they took part in a core exercise routine with a celebrity fitness instructor. But writing in her latest newsletter, Holly cryptically spoke of time passing and creating a future filled with joy, love, and endless possibility. How can it already be the middle of May? Seriously, how has that happened? It feels like only yesterday that I was writing my New Year's intentions, yet here we are almost at the halfway mark. Holly asked her subscribers. The older I get, the more I appreciate how daunting the concept of time passing can be, the 42-year-old added. I can always remember my nat saying things like wait till you get to my age, then it really starts flying by and I now I really get it. If this resonates with you, I wanted to share some advice one of my friends gave me when we were talking about this exact thing. She continued, she told me that instead of worrying how quickly it's going, we should look at things differently and appreciate that with every moment, big or small that passes, we're creating a future filled with joy, love, and endless possibility. If we can remember to reflect on just how lucky we are to be making all these memories, the passage of time can feel really positive. Holly went on to say she's cherishing the smaller moments and thanked fans who got in contact with her regarding her last update centered around her experience with cold water exposure. The Dancing on Ice presenter signed off wishing her followers well ahead of a magnificent new moon. As Holly presented this morning with Phil amid feud rumors earlier today, fans mused how the one-time close friends didn't seem to be enjoying their time on air as much as usual. Body language expert Judy James has now weighed in, sharing her thoughts on their rather frosty return. Phil's body language fight back looked like a masterclass in stoic bravado as he used the icebreaker of a guy playing the piano opener to hit the ground sprinting, cheering, clapping and bowing with arms outstretched rather than starting the show in the usual static side-by-side -side pose beside Holly, she explained. It smashed any awkwardness out of the park, although Holly's body language looked less convincing. When Phil did turn to join her his legs play, hands in pockets power pose suggested confidence but Holly's chest height hand clasp with bent wrists was a self-diminishing gesture and although she adopted a moth smile her eye expression looked sad. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook.